saunas. The several thousand year old practice that never seems to go out of style. In fact, sauna bathing is gaining popularity all over the world and more scientific studies continue to come out and show that saunas have a lot of health benefits. Despite being somebody who really dislikes and actively avoids extreme temperatures, I've actually wanted to incorporate sauna use into my weekly routine for years, but I haven't had easy access to one. I don't have a gym membership, nor do I have the money or the space to install one in my house. And based on my most recent poll, I'm not the only one, but I found a solution. This ridiculous looking portable sauna tent. I've seen lots of videos featuring these types of saunas, but many of them show people being like, oh my gosh, this thing is so ridiculous, it's so funny looking, and I mean, they're not wrong. But it's usually kind of a one and done thing, or if they're reviewing it, they'll show it once and be like, yeah, it works. That's great, but I wanna see if it's actually enjoyable and is it realistic and practical to use and will I like it enough to want to incorporate it into my weekly routine? And I've included timestamps so you can jump around the video for the information that you're looking for. But before we dive in, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Element. As you probably know, hydration is super important when using a sauna. While we're obviously sweating out water, we're also sweating out a bunch of important electrolytes. So Element is an electrolyte drink mix that contains sodium, potassium, and magnesium. They have no artificial flavors and it's sugar-free. I've actually been using Element for the last several months so I could rehydrate after super sweaty workouts, also to just survive summer in Houston. And since Houston is pretty much the equivalent of a steam room, it makes perfect sense for me to incorporate Element into my sauna routine. Personally, raspberry is my favorite flavor and right now Element is offering a free sample pack with any order. The sample pack contains one packet of each of the eight flavors. So it's a great way to figure out which is your favorite flavor or you could share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash balancinglaura. That's drinklmnt.com. The deal is only available through my link, which I've included in the description down below. Let's quickly run through some of the benefits of using a sauna. It can improve your cardiovascular health, your stress response, your mood. It may improve physical endurance, but I think this is related to whether or not you're heat adapted. So if you're using it on a more frequent basis, you're getting used to the heat and your body's like, oh, I got this figured out. That's actually not what I want, so I'm not gonna be using it every single day in a row. It can also protect against neurodegenerative diseases. If you want more detailed information about intentional heat exposure and sauna use, I've included some resources for you in the description down below. Let's talk about why and how I chose this particular sauna tent. The main portable sauna options come in the form of domes, blankets, and tents. The domes which you lie down to use tend to be the most expensive option out of the three. And a decent quality one is gonna cost you at least $1,000. This was out of my price range. Sauna blankets are much more affordable. The more affordable ones range from $100 to $140, and the higher quality, more expensive ones range from $300 to $600. I decided not to go with the sauna blanket mainly because the recommendation is to be fully clothed when you use it. And I think that's because you're so close to the heating device. And that's just so unappealing to me. Plus, I kind of wonder if it feels really gross laying in a puddle of your own sweat since the sweat doesn't really have any place to go. The sauna tent is, in my opinion, the silliest looking option, but I do like that you're able to sit upright and you're not just laying in a pool of your own sweat. Now you can either get a steam or an infrared sauna tent. Given the extremely humid climate that I live in, a steam sauna tent just doesn't appeal to me. And I also think the potential for it to get gross really fast is a little too high for my liking. Thus, an infrared sauna tent was the obvious choice for me. After a lot of research, I decided to go with the Durherm Infrared Sauna. I kind of feel like Larry the Cable Guy being like, Durherm. Let's continue. While you can get a sauna tent for under $200, the one I got is on the pricier side at $550. Now my top choice was actually the Therasage Infrared Sauna, but that one is over $1,000. That just, that was out of my budget. It wasn't gonna happen. I chose mine because I do like that it's a little larger than some of the other options out there. That way my husband, who is six feet tall, could use it more comfortably. 
Also, the reviews on Amazon and other websites were very positive. It also produces less EMF radiation than some of the other options out there. And as far as EMFs go, I know this is a controversial subject, more research needs to be done, I'm taking everything with a grain of salt, but personally I like to err on the side of caution given I have the choice and the budget. I do want to mention that my next option was going to be the Serene Life sauna tent, and this is closer to $200. It's a little bit smaller and it goes up to 140 degrees, whereas the one that I got goes up to 150, but it has so many great reviews on Amazon and I think it is absolutely worth checking out. The sauna tent came in a giant box and the setup was relatively simple. You basically turn it upright, put the floor panel and chair inside, and you're ready to plug it in. The hardest part about the setup was maneuvering the box and the actual sauna tent because they're both pretty bulky and I'm not the tallest person. The remote is very simple and straightforward. And the chair it comes with is what I would consider to be good enough. Okay, for some reason I have been stalling for the last like 15 minutes. I don't know why, I'm kind of nervous to do this. <laughs> Got a nice little pocket right here. That's pretty sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Uh, you know what else is pretty sweet about this thing? Oh my god, it's already starting to get warm. Or is it because I'm nervous? No, I think it's actually starting to get warm. Not only are these zippers nice to like reach stuff, but it's also nice to like if I get a little too hot or claustrophobic, I can just open one of these guys and it'll get a little bit of air in. I also like that my head is not involved in this thing. I mean, I can definitely feel heat coming up to my neck, but the fact that I have my head out, this is kind of great. <laughs> Since the sauna pretty much took up the bathroom, I decided to move it to a different location. How perfect is this? I can sauna and watch Seinfeld. It's like a dream come true. Well, apparently my feet were dirty, but yeah, do you see, do you see that sweat? I'm so gross, okay. I think the one downside about doing this on a rug is when you get out and you're dripping, you're gonna get sweat everywhere. That session was 30 minutes long, so that's as long as you can go on the, on the timer, but I mean, really, if you wanted to keep going, you could. 30 minutes definitely felt like enough. I'd say the last five minutes I was starting to get uncomfortable and my heart rate got up to about 145, which is like that. It's pretty significant. Okay, I'm gonna shower. I'm, I'm disgusting. I also need to wipe that thing down. <laughs> Up until this point, my husband hadn't been home. He had been traveling for work. So he hadn't seen this thing in action. All right, let's see what, how great it looks. <laughs> this is, it's about as stupid looking as I was expecting. <laughs> and I'm gonna make it nice and toasty. Let's see what it, what it looks like. Yeah. It looks like it was made in 1971. Well, it was made to last. All right, right now my heart rate is at 92. How, how <laughs> ridiculous do I look? The, the further I back up, the stupider it looks. <laughs> Would you use this? I think you should try I it. I wanna try it, yeah, I wanna try it next. I mean, it, it is pretty great. It does work. I take it, I'm sweaty. A little bit. I feel a little sweaty. <laughs> my heart rate is 124 beats per minute. You said you wanted a sauna, right? It's all yours. I guess uh, you'd like it if I wiped it down, huh? Maybe I don't want to get in there after all. Why don't you want to do it? I don't know, it just looks gross. Like, look at your butt sweat. Actually, that's my leg sweat. Mm. Legs are connected to the butt. But, you know, I'll, I'll wipe it down with a towel and uh, see what you think. Okay. All right, what do you think? Sprout, you're not getting in there. I'm making a new definition of a Dutch oven. No, no. <laughs> it's gonna smell so bad coming up through this little hole. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No, I'm just kidding, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> oh, what do you think of it so far? Uh, <laughs> it's fun to fart in. <laughs> it's really hot. I think it'd be really nice to put this on the back porch in the winter time when it's like really cold out. Mm -hmm. And just have like an outdoor sauna. But then how would you feel about having your head cold? It wouldn't be cold because I feel so much heat coming through the bottom of this. Yeah. Well, you also put a towel. Yeah, to keep the, all the sweat from getting off of me and onto the... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I don't know. I kind of like it, but I just feel hot and bothered at the same time. But it's almost like if you know you're going to be hot and bothered, it's not as bad as if you're um, 
unwillingly hot. It is supposed to induce a stress response. Take me to your leader. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot in there, and um, I was ready to get out before my timer was up. Yeah, you lasted 14 minutes. <laughs> so if this were, if that were a real sun and I started to feel the way that I was, I would step out and cool down. So that was my sign that it was time to get out. Well, what do you think about it? I think that um, I kind of like the process, but if I start to feel uncomfortable, I'm probably gonna wanna get out. After using the sauna tent for the last three weeks, I have to admit, I like it more than I thought I would. When you actually use it, it's a very comfortable experience, and I love that I'm able to like watch TV, and I'm like, I can hang out with my husband as I'm just pouring sweat. <laughs> and while, yeah, you can break it down and move it to a different location, it's still a little difficult for me to do that because the thing is so bulky. I haven't quite figured out where it's going to live because I do think that if I have it set up, I'm more likely to use it. So if it were a little bit easier to break down, that would be amazing. But I think that also might just be a me problem and not necessarily like a problem with the product itself but it heats up quickly and it's pretty easy to wipe down. I will say that chair would probably get really nasty over time, but I'm probably gonna replace it with like a, a wooden bench of some sort. Oh, and I really do like the foot pad that comes with it. Yes, it gets very hot, but that's kind of the point, but it does a really good job of helping heat my body up and get me to sweat faster. So I think the big question, am I gonna keep it? Am I going to actually use it? I think the answer is yes. I kind of can't believe it because I definitely didn't go into this experience thinking that I would like it enough to keep it. So, yay, that it's a, it's a good thing, but you know, it's a lot of money. I think for a lot of people getting something like the Serene Life sauna tent would be obviously more affordable, but it is a little bit smaller and I kind of wonder if that's gonna be easier to maneuver. I would love to hear if you have any experience using a sauna tent or a blanket or a dome or you know any of these sorts of things and what's your experience been like? I went ahead and picked some videos out that I thought you might enjoy. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.